Right everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pro Shop where I as an average golfer take a look at the possible bargains that are out there that you're maybe not finding, maybe missing out and with our partner Hot Golf I'm certainly finding that there's a lot of ways in which you can save money on the product that is out there that goes a little bit under the radar let's say. And I'm going to highlight another four products in today's video which I feel you really need to know about. Uh, we're going to start this whole thing off this week with a club from TaylorMade. It is in fact a set of irons and if you cast your mind back to a year or two then the Sim 2 Max irons would have been on a lot of people's radars in terms of what you class I suppose as a game improvement iron. I took them out on the fairways for a couple of rounds to be honest with you, um, tried them right through the bag from the short irons into the long irons and if you go back to my original review what I really like about this is I was a real sort of advocate of just how good these performed in the hands of an average golfer and uh, they probably perform in the hands of above average golfers as well to be quite honest with you because apart from the fact they are a little bit bulky and that's going to, as I always say in my reviews, that's going to appeal to some, not to everyone. The performance is undoubtedly very, very good indeed. And again, when you compare that to sort of maybe say the Stealth, how much have they changed? Well, I think Stealth has got a little bit more refined in its looks. But other than that, in terms of performance wise, my guess would be that Sim 2, if you put into a head to head up against Stealth irons, there's probably not a great deal to separate them. So I want to highlight these because, again, I mention this in every video, what Hot Golf do particularly well is they manage to bring brand new product, even though maybe a year or two old, these are brand new set of irons for £519. That's six irons working out of whatever that is, 85, 90 quid an iron, which is, to me, right now, again, a no-brainer. If you want a new set of irons and don't want to shell out for the likes of Stealth or their equivalent, then the TaylorMade Sim are just a really good performing set of irons and you don't have to break the bank to get these in the bag 519 quid go and check them out in terms of hot golf if you're looking for that type of iron right now you could get yourself a real good bargain there that's item number one quick glance down to item number two which again i wouldn't be expecting to use or see this brand in an episode of pro shop because this is not by any means a product that I expect to be picking up on the cheap. It is in fact from Scotty Cameron. Yep, I said it, Scotty Cameron, and I'm gonna tell you about how you can get hold of a number of different putters from their range at a real knockdown price. And yet you'll probably be as surprised as I am. Now like everybody, every brand, new products come out every year and Scotty Cameron is no different. So we're going to take this back again to a previous model. It's the Scotty Special Select Newport 2.5. Right, now again, there's a number of different models that Hot Golf are offering right now at a knockdown price. Let's get to that knockdown price first of all. It's £319, which... If you compare to sort of this year's models, we're probably a hundred pound better off in our pocket. Ridiculous amount of saving on a premium product. If you've ever seen Scotty cameras for sale in the places that you shop, then generally from what I've ever seen, they maintain their price points. Rarely do you see any sort of discount at all on Scotty Cameron putters. So to see the best part of maybe a hundred pounds or more, this is reduced by, then that's a significant change for me. So. A Scotty Cameron putter, £319, brand new, wrapper still on. I tried it myself. It's a blade style putter that I tried. Never going to end up in my bag. Feel out of it is superb. I'm not so good with a blade putter, but there are a couple of other options, like I said, that are being offered right now. If you fancy it, if you fancy a Scotty in the bag and they always look nice, everybody wants one, 319 quid. It's one of the best chances you're going to get to buy one that is absolutely brand spanking new. Right. One end of the spectrum, Scotty Cameron. I'm going to go right down to the other end of the spectrum in terms of price points, and that is Ben Sayers. Now, I featured a Ben Sayers trolley, uh, motorized trolley, a uh, in episode one, I think it was, which went down incredibly well. A lot of you liked that. And walking through the shop uh, at Hot Golf, I noticed that Ben Sayers have a chipper in their range, which I cannot walk past the chipper. Now the Ping Chipper was and is an amazing product in my opinion. 
The problem with the Ping Chipper was, at the time at least, it was about 160 quid if I recall. I'm not too sure what it's selling for right now. I would imagine not that different. One problem you've got is a lot of people were again really put off the idea of putting a chipper in the bag or very much a one dimensional club for 160 quid. And I think that was something that uh, Ping need to perhaps look at. To me, that was very hefty in terms of price. Now, there are many other options that are out there, but the Ben Sayers is probably one of the cheapest options I have seen. And it's 25 quid that you can buy it from, for. Now, there's two reasons why that price point is really key. One, because it's a whole lot less than what the Ping and perhaps the Odyssey versions are. But the second one being that with the Ping for me, it really, the Ping chipper acted as very much a training aid in that I loved what it did for my game. It was a little bit low on confidence in terms of my short game. The Ping chipper worked really, really well in terms of building confidence and getting me back comfortable with a style of chip shot that I've now adopted into my wedges. The problem with that is it's a very expensive training aid. This, however, is completely different. And by investing 25 quid in a Ben Sayers chipper, then you could perhaps do exactly the same. And that's just learn to get a certain style and maybe adopt that into your irons. Or maybe you'll just stick with that chipper itself because I've got to admit it was very good in terms of performance again when compared to how well I felt I could do with my own existing club. It also presents a huge lot of loft. It's 37 degrees, which is not a lot of loft, but it looks visibly like it's uh, with the white score lines on the face and the black club head. It really looks like it presented a lot of loft. It's very much like a putter setup in terms of its address position. And uh, for me, again, just adopted a straightforward putting style stroke and it did incredibly well. I've got to say, super impressed with what that did. And at 25 quid, it's really one of those products you can't really lose or you're not losing too much money at least on. Right, last one this week is a rangefinder, viewfinder, whatever you want to call these things. It's uh, from Blue Tees. And again, this is just a product where when you consider the sort of the, the, the better known brands, if you like, and what they're charging for these range finders right now. You're talking for the top end bushnel, maybe between four and 500 quid, which is a, for me, a staggering amount of money. And you've got to compare this to what Blue Tees are offering right now. First of all, the product itself is a real good ergonomic design, very small and compact. Got the magnetic clasp on the, on the, uh, on the little pouch that attaches to the side of your bag. It's also got the magnetic uh, element within the unit itself to, to pitch onto your, um, your cart if you're driving, driving around a buggy or a cart. So there's that element as well. It does all those sort of basic things you would expect. And then the range finder itself, well, it does two things. One, obviously it gives you yardages to the flag, which is the key one, but there's also the ability to opt to choose to switch on the slope indicator, which makes an adjustment depending on whether you're playing uphill, downhill, any kind of change in elevation, then it will make a, uh, an adjustment in that yardage as well. Now, although that element is illegal in competition, what it is really good for is if you play around your local home course in a practice round week in week out then you can start to familiarize yourself with just how much difference that makes in terms of yardage and therefore club selection when elevation comes into play now again that is normally a feature that you find in the high-end products in terms of price points and what blue tees have done is brought this in at 199 uk pounds which means for me what you're getting is a range finder with slope, looks really good, a real good quality finish, and it's at a price point that you'd expect to be paying a whole lot more for. So I really like what they do at Blue Tees. There's some cheaper versions again than this, but I think to have the slope indication and such a nice, well-built piece of kit at 199, it really does stand out yet again as being a real good product that many of you could benefit from. And I'm just glad I'm able to make you aware of them. All right, that's it. It's me done. It's another episode done. Episode four, they seem to be going down incredibly well so far. And I will, uh, as long as we're getting this positive feedback, I will keep digging out the sort of what I consider to be the bargains from our partners at Hot Golf. And we'll see if we can, uh, yeah, just, you know, save, save you money, I suppose, because I know that uh, there's a lot of criticism we keep talking about every week about how expensive product is right now. So to bring these kind of things to the fore 
and hopefully highlight some bargains well uh, yeah it brings another angle to the channel that we don't normally uh, it's not normally associated with right as ever thank you for watching give me your feedback give me your comments let me know what you want to see in next week's episode and i will see you all likely it is tomorrow night thanks for watching